Buenas noches todos. Hola mis amigos. Um, so this is a bit random. I follow a channel called Eat by La Travel, which is an American couple, Mexican-American couple who are either traveling through Mexico or have moved back to Mexico. And so they make videos from different cities and different states. And I just saw a video that they put up from Tuxla Gutierrez in Chiapas about the marimba. And I really don't know anything about the marimba, but I guess it's a very traditional instrument um, in that part of the country in the south. Um, so they have they have really good video talking about the history of this. The marimba, I guess, is a, sort of like a modified version of a xylophone, which was brought from Africa. And um, so, yeah, so I thought since this channel is all about learning about Mexican culture and Mexican music, uh, I thought this might be fun. So I looked up the, there's a, a park in Tuxtla Gutierrez, um, El Parque de la, de la Marimba. So I looked that up. There's a recording and that's what we'll listen to. La Jaiba Mordelona by Marimba a pie, pie del cañón. <laughs> This recording isn't amazing because you can't really hear him singing. But the music you can hear, and it's super fun. Wow, also just looking at how many people are back there dancing. What I saw or yeah, in the video, in the Eat by Lud travel video, which you should check out, I'll put a link. Um they say they said that basically like every afternoon there's live marimba being played here and people come and dance and it's just like such a cool thing that i i experienced in mexico as well in my limited travel there that people just gather outside in a way that i've never really experienced in the u.s and um so it's really nice to go to these public squares and people are just hanging out and enjoying life. And this is such a party. It sounds, it looks so fun. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I've just never been to the right places in the United States, but I've never really seen anything like this going on, uh, just in like a random public park. <laughs> Thank you. 
sounds like they're having fun too. That one's even not even the biggest one. There was a bigger one on the other side. And the people are so dressed up. I didn't even realize it was that guy playing. He looks so chill. <laughs> He's not even like working hard.
So that was super fun. Um, if you're from Chiapas, oh no! If you're from Chiapas, uh, leave a comment. Well, if you're from Mexico, shout out if you want where you're from. I'm super interested to like hear from from people and where they're where they're watching from. Um, one thing I noticed about this. Oh, it looks like maybe there's a documentary or something. Um, so one thing I've wondered about music in Mexico as I've explored music from different parts of Mexico and different styles and different artists is so like in music from the north like Christian Nodal or Fuera Sarejida those styles right Norteño styles you've got the xy uh, not xylophone Oh man, the accordion, right? So you've got the accordion in a lot of them. And then a lot of those styles, or some of those styles, like in, I guess, some banda, like Ramon Cortez, Corridos, there is not even any drums. And the drums or like the percussion is coming from like the tuba and the trombone. So that's in the north. You have no, no actual drums and you have a lot of brass instruments and you have an accordion and i was wondering like in mexico how much african influence there is in the music and finally here i'm seeing it it's like a whole another genre of music that's kind of based around an in instrument that originally came from africa um, i guess there are maybe other instruments involved there was one instrument that they talked about in in the eat by the travel video um called the teponatsli teponat yeah teponatsli which is a like indigenous instrument no what word um i didn't see it in the video here but so it's like a combination right obviously of influences from Africa in this case combined with traditional indigenous instruments and musical styles so it's really cool just seeing how it all plays out and the differences between different parts of the country so here we have far south Chiapas other times we're talking about far north in Sonora or Nuevo Leon um, yeah, anyway, if you are from somewhere in Mexico and and, and there is a, like a, a unique regional style of Me uh, Mexico, if there is a unique regional style of music from your state or your region, I would love to hear about it because, yeah, like I said, this is all about exploring Mexico through music, so... Yeah, please let me know. Um, first time hearing marimba. It sounds, sounds... The closest thing I've heard that it sounds like is some of the, like, cumbia stuff that I've heard uh, Natalia Laforcade do. But other than that, it really doesn't sound like anything else that I've heard. Certainly not Luis Miguel. Certainly not Fuera Sarejida. Certainly none of the hip-hop that I've done. Um, not... Um, Javier Solis yeah this was super unique and I, I want to listen to more of it so give me recommendations and uh, I'll see you next time thanks for watching